Hi everybody, it's Ted here from New Wave Aquaria. We're talking about lighting for the BRS 160 today. So with the lighting spectrum, uh, what we're gonna do is kind of a do of the old and the new. Um, we're gonna keep the Kessels that they had rocking on those. Um, the Kessels were the A360s. We're gonna do a little bit modification of them. They were on a canopy, so we're gonna switch it over and we're gonna do the mounting arms by Kessel. Um, why we chose that is because A, we like the look of the, the arms and also here at the store, we didn't have the room and or place to get the hanging equipment up there. The other kind of retrofit slash redo that we're gonna do for lighting is we're gonna take off the T5s and we're gonna upgrade to the AI blades. Um, the AI blades are going to be our supplement lighting and also the additional oomph that this tank is gonna to need to get some really beautiful coloration out of there and also the appropriated par that we're trying to hit for. Um, in our rock work, if you guys can see up here, we're trying to hit for about 350 in the top part of the rock down towards the bottom part of the aquarium. We're trying to get that 200 uh, area as well. Um, so pretty much today, we're gonna be diving into lighting, doing all that fun stuff, doing the par mapping, doing everything, anything that is required for lighting stuff. So stay tuned and keep on watching. Um, I'm here unboxing the new AI Blade. Uh, we went with the 66 inch, the grow version of that, uh, to get the best supplement lighting that we can get uh, this is why we went with this one and also because of the build quality that we really enjoy the quality that they put into their work at AI uh, just is a really nice product overall. Just a quick little unboxing of what's going on with them, how they're doing and everything like that. Of course you got your ballast. You got the mounting arms, ballast cords and bump, 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 bump the new blade fixture. All nice and snug as a bug in a rug. Looking awesome. Gotta love when you get to unbox new products. Shazam! <laughs> it's a light. screwdriver. Oh, today's the day. Oh, this is not fun. I actually didn't break anything this time. Nope. Too little. Very technical research right here. Trying to find which which one it is. And we got a winner. So right now I'm just putting together the actual brackets or the mounts that hold the Kessel lights up. Um, so yeah, just kind of all of the fun little screws and things to make sure that it is held on there snug as a bug. It's my new saying today, apparently. Oh, fumble. I'm also shocked that they trusted me to do this job. <laughs> this definitely seems like a Caesar job. Woohoo! Gotta like when the first arm is getting put together. I think eight is gonna be our answer. I'm gonna have to pull this guy out a little bit more though. Sweet. Now to attach the light. So 
So really all I'm doing there is I like to test fit anything before I put it together just because it's easier to take it apart when nothing's put together. I feel like I should be saying something right now, but it's also pretty self-explanatory what I'm doing. We're getting Chipotle for lunch today. Let's test fit it on the tank. Ooh, gosh, hopefully I did it right. Magical. Can't wait to get power to them. Repeat. Lunch time. That would have sucked. Oh, I will be a happy man once this project is all done. Get my life back together. So as you guys can see, we finished hanging the Kessels. So now it's my second favorite time. Uh, let's see what it looks like when it is lit up. Uh, Caesar, give me some light, man. So as you guys can see for the first time, actually, you get to see the beautiful aquascape that Jen put together. Um, and you can see the flow that we got rocking and where we placed most of our pumps there. Um, you get to see up top there is where the gyres are back wall is where we put the MP40s and you can see the random flow nozzles doing their best on there as well. Uh, so next to-do list is going to be hanging our AI prime or excuse me AI blades. Um, those guys will be hanging right up there right up there and then that's going to be that for lighting. Then we of course get to do the par mapping and everything like that. Three days later. So it's a few days later I'm standing in front of the 160 here. Um, as you guys can see Kessels are rocking and rolling. AI blades are up and fish are in there. Um, if you guys are interested about how fish got in there, you can see the link right here. That'll bring you right to that video for you. Other fun stuff to talk about here is the AI blades themselves. Uh, these guys are a 66 inch. They are going to be the grow edition. Uh, we, as you can see how we hung them, we have two metal brackets on the end and one support beam in the middle, uh, mainly because of the weight of these guys and the length that they have. They just kind of get a little bowy in the middle there for it. Other than that, um, I'm really excited to turn them on. I've heard from the grapevine that the spectrum on these and the par on these is way better than I anticipate. So pretty excited to see what they have to offer. Um, I think the next step is let's turn them on and see what they're rocking with. The nice thing is that we do have it all programmed onto our Apex. So really it's just a matter of flipping this little switch, boom, and we should have power to them. Nice. It's like the sun under here. I have to say, looking at these at first glance, I'm amazed at A, the spread that they have. It's a really great job from front to back and also just the overall brightness that they put on there. I mean, it's, I, it's a day and a night difference, even just from one of them to having two of them on there. You can see a big, big difference. I'm two thumbs up, let's put it at that. It's, I'm amazed at the quality and the color that they're putting out there. Really, these are close to primary lighting, not just auxiliary lighting. Um, so right now we're just editing and changing our spectrum for our blades here. Um, whenever I'm doing it, I always start with the template just because it's easier to start with that. Um, in the beginning page that you see on the screen right now, um, you do have an option to edit your time right then and there. Um, we at the store here, because we open and people get here at eight o'clock in the morning, I like to start my time right around eight and then we stop it right around seven for, of course, when we close. Uh, next up is then you go into your actual colors and figure out what you need for that. Um, starting at your eight o'clock in the morning there, um, it's going to be a little bit darker of your colors for what you would start because that's your ramp up time. Uh, as you see, it's really dark and blue there. We go along, we start changing it a little bit. For this one, I am going to knock a little bit of whites out of there and take down our blues just a smidgen just because we do have Kessels running on there and those Kessels are putting out a full blue spectrum. So we're not going to need that additional hit of the spectrum there. So as you can see, it's kind of just a little bit of a patient game where you just play with the numbers just enough to make it so that you like what you see. And there's that. So our next big step is we got our lights on there. We got the spectrum that we like. 
Now we're gonna par map it. And a trick for everybody when you're par mapping, I like to take a picture of my aquarium, then have somebody else with you as you're par mapping your points. So right at your picture, you can say this point here is 799. This point here is 2250 or whatever it may be. Just a little bit easier reference guide for you for later on in your life when you're looking at your tank and you're trying to figure out where am I gonna put this Walt Disney frag? Where's the best place? So next step is par mapping. So for par mapping, uh, we're using the Apogee par meter. Um, it's really self-explanatory. There's a little probe right here. All this does is it measures how much uh, light is actually being put through there. And then you just get a little digital readout there. Um, so starting off, I always do it with the tank fully running and then I'll turn off the setup and do it that way as well. Uh, so for at that point right there, we're at about 350, 300. Now I always try whenever doing it, I do at the points. So where your corals would kind of rest and lay. That's another 300 there. Down on the bottom, we're at about 275, 280, 220. Let's go way up high. 390, 350, 300, 270-ish, 300-ish. 320, 250, and 200. So after our par mapping, you guys can see that our ranges are sitting at about 300 in the top realm there. Uh, really, we like that range for SPS and Acropora, simply for the fact that that is where we found they do the best growing and the best coloration. Uh, next range down is that mid range there. Uh, we're sitting at about 250 to 300 in there. Um, another ideal range for Montes, some of those lower light acroporas and things like that. Um, bottom realm is going to be in that 200 uh, par range. For those guys, we're thinking about doing more of the encrusting style uh, corals. So some chalices, encrusting style montiporas, maybe even some cyphastrias might make their appearance in here. So that's kind of the general beginning of where we're thinking for par mapping and placement of corals on this guy. Um, spectrum wise, we've did a little minute adjustment to it. Right now we're sitting really pretty. We might do some fine tuning of that once we get coral in the aquarium, just to kind of make them make sure that they're popping, doing what we like to see in that. Um, so pretty much that's where we're sitting right now. Now we just play the patient game and wait until it's ready. So we just finished up with our lighting, uh, doing the par mapping and making sure our spectrum is where we want it here on the BRS 160. Uh, thank you guys for your continued support. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, doodle, do something. Um, thank you as always, and you guys have a great rest of your day.